One thing that makes publishing so tough is that as writers, we're constantly chasing new goals. Like there's no end point. When you first start out, your goal might be simple. It might be finish a chapter, finish half the book, finish the book. And the goal might turn into send out a query letter. Then it might be get a request. Then it might be get an offer from an agent. And for some, getting an agent feels like an end goal, but it's like just the start. Because then after you get your agent, then you're chasing the book deal. You're hoping that your agent can sell your book to a publisher. And then if your agent does sell it to a publisher, then you're hoping people are going to buy your book. And you're trying to figure out how to get people interested in your book. And then you are writing another book. And then you're hoping that, you know, your agent can sell this one too. And again, hoping that people are going to buy it and trying to figure out how to get people to buy it. And the cycle is just never ending. Right now, I'm in the process of trying to get people interested in my book. I have some time before it comes out, probably not until spring 2024. But I'm still like, how do I get people interested in my book? And this is just going to be my first published one. I'm hoping that there's going to be more. So the goals just keep going on and on and on. It never stops. I guess the point is, is that just don't lose sight of why you're writing in the first place. Are you writing for yourself? Are you writing books that you enjoy? Are you enjoying the process? That's what I'm going to focus on. And at the end of the day, you know, if only a few people buy my book, I mean, I, I set out and I had one of my goals and my goal was to get published and that's happening. So, you know, nobody can take that away from me. <laughs> Wherever you are in your goals, good luck and um, be nice to yourself.